and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the Art of Alopecia. For those who don't know me, my name is Marcy and I have an autoimmune condition called Alopecia Universalis. Basically what that means is my immune system mistakenly attacks my hair follicles and that is why I am completely bald and balding throughout my body and on this YouTube channel we primarily do wig reviews. Um, I have done some tips, tricks, tutorials, Q&As, all of that fun stuff but there's just something about doing wig reviews that brings me so much joy. So I'm just gonna keep doing them. Um, but I'm also very active on a few other social media platforms. I have my Instagram and my TikTok. You can also find me under the name The Art of Alopecia. And I also have a Gmail account that you can email me at. It's theartofalopecia at gmail.com. And that's so if you don't necessarily feel comfortable reaching out to me via social media, you can always email me. I would absolutely love to chat. I've really been working on making my intros a lot shorter because they definitely don't need to be that long. I am just one for rambling. But let's get into the real reason why you clicked on this video. So today I'm going to be reviewing the California Beach Waves unit by Tressalore and I'm so 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 excited. I think this is my second wig that I've reviewed by Tressalore. The first one was the Sensational unit which was a stunning red color. You can find it on my Instagram. Um, I don't believe I reviewed it on my YouTube. I think that was before my YouTube time, um, but it's definitely on my IGTV video, or I think now it's under the real section. But I'm so excited to review this one. This wig is a synthetic wig. I have not reviewed a synthetic wig in a very, very long time. So I'm very excited. So if you are interested in learning more about California Beach Waves or Tressalore, then keep watching. Alrighty, my friends, so for those who have been following me on YouTube for a while, know what point of the video I'm at, and that is I like to do a little bit of an unboxing and a review of the packaging in the box itself. Though I've already posted one on my Reels and my TikTok, um, I like to do this. I think it's important. I think boxes are important in terms of like storage options and stuff like that, because I always say when you're investing in a high quality product, you want to make sure that the storage is high quality as well because when it's not on your head you want to make sure that it's well protected so i always find that boxes are the best storage method but let's get started so here is the box it's definitely not the most secure box out of all of them definitely very flimsy not the sturdiest but that's okay. <laughs> um, so let's do a little bit of an unboxing. So there wasn't much to it. This is kind of what it looked like when I received it, but obviously the tissue paper was inside and also the fishnet was around it. It was very well secured with some bobby pins, but inside nothing too, too special. It did come with a wig cap, always very much appreciated, but that is basically it for the unboxing. Too special to say, but let's get into the wig review. Before I introduce you to Miss California Beach Wave, I did want to say that Tressalore is currently having a humongous sale on all of their units. So right now, until the end of March, all of their wigs are 40% off. And with a purchase, you also get a free bottle of their wig wax. The wig wax is to help uh, style the synthetic wig. Synthetic wigs can kind of be finicky with style, but this is basically to help the overall shape. So ooh, I just I just gave you guys a little, little sneak peek. Um, but I would highly, highly recommend you go to Tressalore Dot com. I will link it down below, then it will give you all of the information and it will also lead you um, to finding a location or a website that offers the wig that you're looking for because their website, you can't necessarily buy off of them. They have a lot of different distributors around different countries. So if you just go on their website, you find one that you like, then it will give you a list of companies um, or websites that sell them. Alrighty guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, introducing Miss California Beach Waves. Oh my goodness, I am absolutely obsessed with this color, with these highlights, with this wave. It's just, it's so gorgeous. By far one of the most gorgeous synthetic wigs that I think I have 
ever seen. This comes in many, many different colors, like all the colors that you can ever dream of. This is the color 14 slash 26 slash R10. This is when you first go onto the website and you look up California Beach Waves in the search prompt, this is the color that the model is wearing in the first picture. It's this gorgeous woman. She's wearing a green top and a green skirt and she's wearing this color. And I saw this color and I'm like, that's the one that I want. Anyway, let's go through a few of their specs. I don't have a whole lot. Usually synthetic wigs don't. I'm still gonna give you what I have found um, anyways. So I don't know why on the website there is a range of hair length, but I think, it, I think it's meaning the different layers that they have. Um, so the overall hair length is 16 inches, but then it says the fringe is five inches, which is usually the bangs. The crown is 16 inches and the nape is six inches. So there's a whole lot of layers. There's a whole lot of different lengths going on, but the overall length is I believe 16 inches. Of the cap, she is an average size cap. So she is 21 and a half inches in circumference. So that is basically kind of like a medium size cap. Um, if you go by that sizing. My head is 20 inches in circumference, which is tiny. So this is a little bit too big for me. But there is adjustment straps at the back, which is fabulous. It's not too, too, too big. In terms of the cap construction. So she is a lace front with a mono top and the backing is a machine wefted back. You've got some ear tabs, which is um, made of this really soft kind of velvet material um, for more comfortability and also the same material at the back nape. And I love when it comes to Velcro. So they have their adjustment straps Velcro, which is fabulous, but I believe that is all of the specs that I have for you guys. Let's try her on. Ah! Just gonna flip her back. Might have to restyle her part, but let's just see what we're working with. Oh my goodness, this color is actually insane. Oh, she actually looks so good. Okay, let me go on my knees so you guys can see the length. So I'm pretty short and it kind of, it sits kind of below the boob area, which is like a really great length, I wanna say. Let me give you guys a side profile. That is my garage, if you're wondering. Oh my goodness, these waves are to die for. I am, oh, I'm obsessed. Alrighty, let's talk about this wig. So first and foremost, I wanna give you guys an up close on this hairline. So the knots are pretty undetectable. The hairline is quite straight, but honestly with like all of this fringe going on with all of these kind of layers, it really does disguise like the overall kind of straight looking hairline, which I love, um, love bangs for this reason. But the lace only goes from here to here. So if you're wanting to put her up, you would only be able to kind of work within the lace area, um, but you could also always kind of pull out some hairs as well. Like that look would look so cute and with the wig wax, you could make this style happen because obviously there are a lot of layers. But anyways, so this wig initially came with, I wanna say a left side part and I did give her a middle part. I think she just looks a whole lot better with the middle part. In my personal opinion, I just felt like she was a little top heavy on one side, which I didn't really like. That's the great thing about this cap is you can change the part to wherever you want as long as it's within the lace. So you do have a lot of flexibility in terms of the part. I just honestly, I'm very impressed with the overall kind of naturalism of this wig. I think for a synthetic wig, this is a really good high quality synthetic because sometimes people like to skew away from synthetic because they do look a little bit wiggy, unnatural, but honestly, synthetic wigs have come 
a long way and I think this is definitely one of them. I thought the exact same thing about the sensational unit that I that I had by Tressalore um, a while back. I was just I was amazed with how natural it looked. So yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it looking unnatural. I think this is so natural to the human eye. <sighs> In terms of the hair quality, I think the hair quality is good. Obviously, it's not silky smooth like a human hair wig. Like I am running my fingers down this wig and it isn't it isn't silky smooth, but I think that kind of goes with the texture of the waves as well. Like if my natural hair were to be kind of like this kind of wavy, like it wouldn't be silky smooth, I wouldn't imagine. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of experience with these kinds of waves in a human hair form growing out of my scalp, um, but I wouldn't assume that it would be silky, silky smooth. So I'm sure it probably kind of goes with the texture of the hair. Really, like it's a really good quality synthetic. It's not shedding at all. It's kind of like the number one thing that I can tell between a poor quality synthetic and a high quality synthetic. If the hair is still really sticking into the wig and not falling out when you brush it, um, then that means it is a good quality wig, or for the most part. <laughs> I think the color is really, really stunning. It's just like, it has so much depth to it with the highlights and the low lights. I am just absolutely obsessed. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of like the multiple layers, but some people really like that. I, I, I'm not a huge fan personally. I do think it's very different from anything that I do have. So I guess it gives me a little bit more versatility. I definitely need this wig wax um, to keep that part back. But yeah, it does come with a whole lot of layers as you can tell. So there are the short layers these middle layers and obviously the long, long, long pieces that don't have layers. In terms of the top, I feel like the top, it might just be because I have a really small head, but I feel like it is really top heavy and that might be due to all of the layers. I'm not 100% sure why, um, but there is a whole lot of volume on the top, which kind of makes it look, which makes the wig look kind of overly big or overly voluminous, which I'm not a huge, huge fan of. Finally, at the end of the day, I'm just still obsessed with the color <laughs> and these waves, they are stunning. In terms of my review of the cap construction, I think it's a pretty good cap construction. It's a very average, good quality cap construction for a synthetic. I love the use of lace. It just adds a whole extra layer of realism. I'm not always a huge fan of the open wefts because I go, I, I sometimes get irritated with the hair kind of re-injecting itself back into the cap construction, um, which I don't love, but I guess that's really all depends on how you take care of it. So if you see a little piece of hair kind of going into the inside and kind of inject it out. That's what I always did. Do love the material on the ear tabs and also at the back nape. My one kind of review of the lace is I always find with these kinds of wigs that the lace is really thick and sometimes kind of itchy. So that's something that I would um, keep in mind if you do have a more kind of sensitive scalp. Um, I ultimately um, got used to the sensation of the lace with my sensational unit, the one that I tried a few years back. So it's just something that you have to get used to. I think with any kind of sensation, you ultimately get used to it at the end of the day. But those are just a few things about the cap construction, but I am just still obsessing over the color with the length. It's just, it is a really, really stunning unit. And I've seen so many different people rock this wig and look absolutely incredible. Press Allure does have a bunch of really beautiful synthetic wigs to offer. So I would highly, highly recommend going to check them out. If again, this is what you're looking for, synthetic wigs can't necessarily style them to the point that you want. They are heat friendly, but 
obviously at a very, very low temperature. So I kind of choose not to really style my synthetics with any kind of heat unless it's just like a very small kind of flat iron. But the thing that I love about this wig is you don't really actually have to style it using any hot tools because it already has like a naturally wavy texture, which I'm again, so obsessed with. But I do think that this wig is a good quality wig. This color is stunning. The waves are stunning. Always continuously impressed um, by Tressa Laura's wigs. I think they are outstanding synthetic wigs. So I would highly recommend if this is what you are looking for. I'm gonna stop mumbling. That is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. And please follow the link that I will post down below for 40% off and a free wig wax bottle when you purchase a Tressler wig by the end of March. Take advantage, I would highly, highly, highly recommend. And follow me on all of my other social media platforms. If you are interested in kind of seeing different stuff on different platforms, email me if you want. Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, that would mean so, so much to me. But without further ado, we will see you next time on the Art of Alopecia. Bye guys.